Jen, why is your cat hair all over my office chair again? Oh, really? I'll clean it off. That's not the point. We agreed the cat wouldn't go in the office. Why was the cat in the office? I'm sorry. It was too cold for him to be in the garage last night, so I needed a warm place for him to sleep. The cat will be fine. I don't want it in the office. Well, you don't want him to sleep with the kids, you don't want him in our room, and you don't want him roaming the house. So I need to find a place for him to sleep when it gets too cold. Jen, it's a cat. Cats have fur. They can handle the cold. Why do we always need to argue about the cat? I agree. Maybe we should just get rid of it. You hate the cat. I get it. Ian, I'm sorry for putting the cat in the office. I knew that you'd get upset, so I just avoided the conversation. Can you help me understand why you don't want the cat in the office? I just hate all the hair. It gets everywhere. I think the cat's even sitting on my keyboard. Yeah, I hear you. The cat hair doesn't bother me, but I can see that it stresses you out, and I don't want that. I know it may sound irrational, but when it's really cold out, I worry about the cat. I imagine he's too cold in the garage and it makes it hard for me to sleep. I know the cat is important to you. Even though I think he is fine, I understand that you worry about him. How about we agree on a temperature that feels reasonable? If it's above that temperature, the cat stays in the garage. And if it's below that temperature, he can come in. I just prefer he not be in the office. Yeah, I guess I could put a blanket in the bathroom instead. That feels better to me. How about you? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good solution. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean up the cat hair. That would be great. Thank you, honey. <laughs> 